I remember watching the evening news and Tom Brokaw was on there and he said, uh, for the first time in many years, the United States making steel cheaper than Japanese. And I knew it was us and I thought, well, this, this is a really big deal. There's a very famous textbook on steels and that textbook lists Newcore Crawfordsville as being like the foundation of modern steel making. The whole world was waiting on that first cast. This was the start of the big change. We bet it all on Crawfordsville. Newcore bet on Crawfordsville, and we won. Newcore bet on Crawfordsville, and we won. We won, and we're gonna keep on winning. It was us cornfields, just like the rest of it around here. I mean, cornfield, bean fields, trees. M mud, um, and more mud. We had the application day, and people were back down the road for two miles, walking two miles to get in here. When Newcore decided to come here, they took a big chance. Um, the technology wasn't proven. Iverson had saw it over in Germany. He liked what he saw. They found the property they liked. They set it up here. He had the people, he had the railroad. Everything was located here that he thought he needed. It, it was definitely a gamble because nobody had ever made a, a coil of steel from a thin slab caster. We were trying to do something that had never been done before. We were uh, pairing electric arc furnaces with a thin slab caster, a revolutionary design caster, and we were gonna be making flat rolled steel with a hot mill with a, that was directly linked to the caster. So everything had to work together as a single unit. So there was a great cost advantage for Nucor, and it also made a lot of folks nervous because they knew Nucor's name, but they didn't really understand what we were capable of. When the people here would not give up, would not give, fought through it and fought through it and fought through. It was not easy, breakout after breakout after breakout after fire after problem after everything that went on and they got that first slab through. That sounded the death knell for the great big integrated steel companies as they had been. End of the day, even today at Nucor, the, uh, the technology isn't what makes it successful. It's, it's, our new core strength and innovation is, is our team, is our culture. It, it is that willingness to take risks, that willingness to, to challenge each other, and technology is just a tool. New Core Crawfordsville? New Core Crawfordsville may have been a gamble. But buying our steel. But buying our steel is a sure bet. It's a sure bet. There's been a lot of change out here in 30 years. Uh, I, would, I would say the uh, investment that Nucor had, it was started up a uh, $300 million investment with 800,000 tons of capacity of steel production. Uh, it now has over a billion dollars invested and it has uh, 3 million tons plus or minus of uh, steel capacity, so it's grown a lot. Yeah, they didn't give us a chance. They laughed at us. And that's all right. You know, it's kind of fun being the underdog. It's kind of fun being the guy that you don't expect that can give you that right hook when you get in the ring. And that's, they underestimated us. They came in, they didn't see us coming, and the next thing you know, they're flat on their back on the mat. And so that's, that feels pretty good. It's like a Rocky movie. Congratulations, of course, Steel Indiana for 30 years. 30 years at Crawfordsville and really proud of it. We've had 30 great years here at Newcore Steel, Indiana, and I know we're gonna have 30 great more. We've had a great 30 years here at Crawfordsville, and I feel like that we've got a lot of great years ahead of us. Kind of like being at the end of the rainbow. <laughs>